faith, grace, love, connection is righteousness. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Stephen Detweiler, and as you see, I am not in my little studio today. I am at the Chick-fil-A at, a, what is it, Alliance Town Center, um, which is North Fort Worth, and I am at the Majoring in Men's group that, that this is a uh, Christian Men's Network uh, uh, group that, that raises men to be Christ-like, and that's what our focus is here. Um, I have the camera just here because we have anonymity in these groups. Um, so whatever's said in these groups stays in these groups. It's men to be free to be men and also be vulnerable when they need to be vulnerable. Um, just remember, when a, when a man's sitting there and he says he's fine, he's not fine, okay? And I'm gonna make some shorts out of this. Uh, there's a little joke about that, but uh, we won't get into that. And. Uh, so that's why I'm going to put the information. If you're interested in a majoring in men's uh, uh, in, uh, group near you, um, majoring in men is worldwide. Um, our, our guy Bruce uh, Harbach, man, he's everywhere. I think he's been to Albania, uh, Ukraine, Narnia. Um, so, so many places, you know, he might be uh, in a galaxy far, far away on the moons of Endor. I don't know, but he goes everywhere and he brings majoring in men everywhere. And so if you're interested in that, I'll put the link for cmn.men down there. And if you're in local in the North Fort Worth area, I will put uh, Edgar Stiles information in the description below also. And uh, you can get in touch with him and come and join the men's group. And that'd be great. How you doing, y'all? Good. All right, all right. So I'm calling this Seek First Righteousness Lifestyle. The Seek First Righteousness Lifestyle. Produce the kingdom life on earth as you are in heaven. And that's something that the Lord really wants us to do. Um, I, I really, on and off, have hit this subject of righteousness throughout the decades. But the Lord really culminated it to me last year when I got hit with COVID. In 2021 at Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, I went to an outreach downtown for the homeless and I was talking to some, some brothers in, in Christ. One guy seemed to really had a cold. Next thing I know, two days later, man, bad headache. Then the day after that on Tuesday I went to I went and I got uh, uh, diagnosed with COVID. And it just progressively just started getting bad and I get to the point where I go to the doctor they diagnose me they say yeah yeah you need monoclonal antibodies I need that well this is right in the same time that a certain administration was having a, a spat with a certain administration in Florida who decided that they were just going to restrict a, a monoclonal antibodies just for the they're going to ration them for what? There, there was plenty of them, but they rationed them. So I called and I said, hey, I got an appointment. Call downtown, hey, I got an appointment for it. And they said, we don't have any. They haven't come in. All right, um, I'm also calling this what the enemy meant for bad, God made for good. Okay, keep that in mind. Whatever the enemy makes for bad, God brings out the good. Because we love him and he loves us first. And so, man okay and I'm getting bad I mean this this is not a mild case of COVID and I'm, I'm like okay and I go through the weekend now I'm I'm progressively getting worse and I woke up that Monday morning and I heard the Lord say call and I'm in a daze I called the place and I, I said hey do you have any monoclonal antibodies I said yes we just got them in I said well I had an appointment uh, last week no you got to make another one your doctor has to send it and so I I go and I, I call the doctor and they moved on it man they moved on it. now I'm, I'm, I'm in despair I'm literally in despair because I'm feeling my health draining it's 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 draining for me and I get on the phone to, to a young man named Jason and he he heard the despair in my voice he says look we're overbooked for tomorrow but I'm gonna get you in you come in at four o'clock I'm getting you in he said, you, you have one day left. Tomorrow's your 10th day. There's only 10, you get 10 days to get monoclonal antibodies. Otherwise they say they, they won't work. So he says, I'm getting you in. So I, I go in there, <coughs> I get the monoclonal antibodies. Three days later, I'm, 
I'm not, it, it's nothing's happening. I'm going, I'm, I'm worse. And I laid down that night, literally saying, okay, I'm, I'm I, I, I was either gonna die in the hospital or I could die in my bed. I chose I was gonna die in my bed. That's where I was comfortable. I was, I had my set, self set with God. I'm good. I'm ready to go. I laid down and I woke up. I saw the ceiling of my apartment and I literally said these words. Oh man. <laughs> the disappointment that I had waking up in my apartment when I was fully set and ready to be waking up in the presence of Jesus, it was it was a disappointment. And I was like, "Oh man." And then as I rolled over, I heard these words. It's clear as day. Turn your face to the face of righteousness and breathe the breath of God. Turn your face to the face of righteousness and breathe the breath of God. Now this was this was on the eighth of, this was on the eighth of that month. January. Eight is the number of new beginnings. And that word was truly a new beginning and change in my life. Well, thank you for watching part one. It's an amazing story. Stick it out this week and let's see how God makes things good when the devil attacks and tries to make things bad. God loves us and we will always come out in his good when we trust him. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.